Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the semi-finals of Clutches International 2020. We have top four players uh, and now we had at least five or six really great games. Uh, and this time I'm gonna choose the game between Fabiano Caruana, who is number two in the world in standard time control, his rapid ranking 2773, he is number 11 in the world and he's gonna play as white and this is clutch game. The first two games were won by Wesley So, then we had the two draws uh, and this time uh, Fabiano Caruana, if want to equalize, have to win at least one of the clutch games. Um, and Wesley so his rapid ranking 2741 so he's number 21 in the world and he's gonna play as black so without further ado let's see this exciting game uh, we have e4 by Fabiano Caruana e5 knight on f3 knight on c6 bishop c4 bishop c5 and now b4 Evans Gambit and I would like to show you this picture so uh, feel free to leave the comment who is on this picture with Fabiano Caruana as you see uh, Fabiano Caruana doesn't scare to play Evans Gambit and it's very very double edge opening where everything can happen and both sides should play really precisely or not because as I said it's very double edge and even if it's you know you get the winning position it's not always so clear how to how to continue the game uh, and if you don't know about Evans Gambit the most famous Evans Gambit played ever was uh, in the 19th century this was evergreen game and this game is famous because uh, it was analyzed for 150 years can you imagine that if you haven't seen that game check my analysis over there I talk about Evans Gambit much more and I show more lines very interesting lines uh, and also I think this is ultimate uh, analysis with all of the lines revealed even 150 years later so bishop on b4 this is the main line and now we have c3 kicking the bishop and the main line here is bishop on a5 bishop a5 d4 and the game has a lot of very very sharp variations however bishop on e7 Anderson variation um, is preferred by Wesley so uh, we have d4 as planned and now knight a5 so in Anderson variation this is called actually cordial line uh, and uh, this bishop should retreat uh, there is some line where you can take the, the pawn on e5 uh, and then you know um, get this bishop back uh, and stay with this very very strong center however light square bishop is so valuable that most people play bishop on e2 and caruana plays bishop on d3 this of course is also playable we have d6 and now white gonna get back um, the pawn so d takes on e5 d takes on e5 knight takes on e5 and knight f6 one of the most important principles in evans gambit is rapid development for white and for black especially for black if black stands you know behind in development this can be very very deadly we have castle castle uh, queen on c2 and bishop on d6 attacking this unprotected knight knight retreat to f3 with the threat e5 there is a lot of threats uh, in this opening so both sides you know have to be very precise knight on c6 now uh, controlling e5 and bishop g5 pinning the knight we have h6 bishop on h4 and here wesley so has his idea g5 and he plays g5 quite often uh, in many openings uh, and after bishop on g3 which normally is played it was played couple of times in this line of the opening knight on h5 is coming however wesley so exchanged this bishop on d6 so bishop on g3 and after h takes on g3 g4 uh, and now this is not really the greatest idea because knight h4 and how you want to you know eliminate this knight it's it's on the side but however it watching at f5 okay 
Uh, and now uh, it cannot go now because it can be exchanged for the for the bishop but it's always keep the eye on f5 so uh, here for example knight on e5 was played by Wesley so but he still cannot go to g6 uh, because after bishop on e2 uh, this was played in the game uh, as the bishop was under attack if you try knight on g6 the problem is e5 and the knight is under attack and the g6 pawn is under attack and you just gonna lose the game so not this way uh, rook on e8 was played here by wesley so and now rook and the knight uh, put the pressure on e4 if this knight moves somewhere definitely not on g6 that's not the greatest uh, idea uh, this pawn gonna be under attack so we have knight on d2 temporary um, defending uh, e4 but there is a different idea for this knight this knight actually should be remaneuvered to f5 and now together with this knight this outpost for the knight gonna be uh, really really strong uh, so wesley so plays b6 uh, not sure what is the idea it seems like bishop b7 uh, and putting more pressure on on e4 that would stop this maneuvering the knight however the problem is after rook a on d1 now there are of course some some discoveries so uh, we have queen on e7 rook f on e1 uh, if you play bishop on b7 this knight can actually jump immediately to f5 okay so uh Wesley so change his mind and play bishop on e6 uh, we have knight on f1 rook a on d8 uh, and now knight e3 as planned queen on c5 and now knight e on f5 okay and the idea here is move the queen to c1 and attack on h6 okay and that will be deadly so Wesley so exchange the the rooks we have rook on d1 rook on d1 and now h5 uh, and now there are no possibilities of you know moving the queen to h6 and i mean of course it's possible however the problem is uh, after queen on d2 let's say knight e4 with the attack on the queen and attack on f2 here is the problem so even you move to h6 the problem is a queen f2 and attacking this knight twice okay so after king on h1 bishop f5 and after exchanging the pieces black have one extra piece and uh, white doesn't even have any compensation for that the attack is gone that's all this is this is all and also look at this the knight can jump to f2 this is just disaster so uh, it doesn't work anymore so what to play as white what would you play as white uh, fabiano caruana goes for rook on d4 very very nice move now uh, cutting the queen from uh, reaching f2 this is one idea but also defending e4 defending e4 so the knight cannot jump here so now the queen can go to c1 and h6 okay this is the idea so queen on f8 now controlling um h6 by wesley so we have queen on d2 anyway now the queen can come to g5 uh, and to prevent that we have knight on h7 and here Fabiano Caruana actually decided to play a4 multi-purpose move and very prophylactic very nice move because now uh, the bishop actually attacks a2 uh, and now if queen want to move for example to f4 uh, then the pawn would be under attack and then black would have the very nice counterplay uh, with the passed pawn so this is the first idea and also a4 and black doesn't really have a chance to 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 create any passed pawn on the queen side even having you know three pawns against two pawns it's not enough this bishop controls these squares uh this pawn also stops the the advancing it's not so easy it takes a lot of moves to to create you know any advantage and it's probably even not possible so knight on c6 by um wesley so and here fabiano caruana uh, could play bishop on b5 uh, and now look at this you cannot defend the knight you cannot defend the knight and the knight is pinned so uh, probably your only option is knight on d4 and after knight on h6 with check king g7 c takes on d4 uh, yes you can save that rook rook d8 but after d5 
Look at the position. This diagonal is open, so the queen can jump there. Also, the knight still can operate on f5 and control a lot of squares there. Uh, this bishop can join back this this attack. It just doesn't look, you know, good for black. And it's still not so easy to find decisive attack, uh, but it's much easier, you know, to to attack by white. Uh, However, we have knight on h6 by Fabiano Caruana immediately and now Wesley so said in the interview that he wanted to play king on h8 uh, and then he just decided in the last moment, hey, it's losing the piece because after king on h8, bishop b5 and now you don't have any knight on d4 because queen d4 comes with check, okay? And then if you play something like f6, you're gonna lose the queen. This is the problem. Uh, and if you try queen on g7, which looks better, you're just losing this rook. Uh, and black even cannot take the knight uh, because queen is pinned. Okay, so a very easy win for white. So uh, luckily for Wesley, so he figure out this in the last moment and play king on g7. And now again, bishop b5. This was the idea still on the board um, and could play that. However, uh, Fabiano Caruana decide uh, knight from the fourth rank goes to f5 with check. Uh, and now what to play next? We have king on g6. Uh, and here Fabiano Caruana thought for really long uh, because now he, his attack, it looks like everything is great, but what to play next? How to attack the king? Uh, he has the feeling like, okay, I'm winning, but how to, you know, uh, how to play? So he decided for bishop on d3, putting the bishop on the same diagonal um, and there could be some tactics. So for example, knight on d4, uh, first knight h4 with the check, king g7, c takes on d4 uh, and black have to play something, let's say rook on d8, queen f4, very standard here, rook d7 bringing some defender uh, and then after check exchange some pieces, king have to move somewhere, king h8, e5 now and look at this, this bishop attacks over there, uh, but it's still not clear, you know, how to continue the, this attack. It's definitely, there are some, some ideas here, uh, but not so easy, not so easy. This is the problem. So, uh, so knight on d4 doesn't look good. However, it's, it's very difficult to find other moves. We have knight on g5 by Wesley So. So slowly he tried to advance and find some counterplay. Uh, and now e5, that, that was the main idea, of course, here, uh, would not really work because after e5, knight can take on e5. Uh, and if you want, for example, win the exchange, you cannot. King h6 uh, and you just give the rook for two knights. And these two knights would be, you know, very, very happy to, to jump on f3 and make some family fork. This would be just, you know, uh, awesome. So Fabiano first play queen on f4, now controlling e5 to, to move e5 pawn, uh, but now f6 bringing a control to e5. So fight for the, for the e5 square uh, and now bishop b5. Uh, attacking this knight and, and pinning that. However, uh, this was the, the, the position where white probably, because the engine shows and all grandmasters in the, in the studio said that queen c7 cutting the, the, the king, however, is not really clear how to continue. Uh, for example, uh, knight on d4, c takes on d4, rook c8, queen b7, yes, your queen cut the king, but you don't have decisive blow. You don't have any tactics here. This is the problem. Uh, so Fabiano Caruana played bishop on b5, okay? Uh, pinning the knight. Uh, and now, uh, of course, the defending of, of this knight is not possible. So now, finally, we have knight on d4. Bishop on e8. It comes with check. Queen e8. C takes on d4. Uh, and now Wesley so just exchange everything. Bishop on f5. Uh, and now you even cannot take with f5. Because if you take with f5, king h6, queen f6. And you're not gonna win the knight because queen can retreat to g6. You have to take with the knight. Uh, and this is what happened. 
queen e4 queen e4 by wesley so so from this position where fabiano caruana has you know so much to play very very strong attack but it was so difficult to to you know find the blowing moves and even if you analyze that with the engine grandmaster stride there are no you know real blows you know any tactics over there it's just you have some advantage but you don't see you don't see how to you know uh, capitalize that and win the game uh, so now we have knight on h4 with check, king on f7, uh, and now queen on c7, winning back some materials. So now the material is equal. Uh, we have queen on e7. Of course, you know, when you have the winning position, you still want to win. Uh, even even if it's, you know, more drawish, you still want to win. You estimate the position as better for you. Usually you are very, very optimistic. Uh, we have queen on c4, queen on e6, and now d5. Uh, and now if queen on e1, for example, uh, king h2, uh, queen f2, the problem is d6. This pawn gonna uh, march uh, against the king and now uh, you cannot stop it, okay? Queen c8 with check, uh, king f7 and now d7 and you're gonna win. And even you play something like knight on e4 with the plan of, of mating, there is a mating idea here. For example, if, if white play some, okay, I don't know, stupid move, uh, then the problem is queen on g3, okay? Uh, and then you just you are just get checkmated okay that's that's a, that's just a checkmate so even you try to play something like knight on e4 it's still not enough because white gonna win faster queen e8 king g7 uh, and now queen g6 okay king h8 and now this is a checkmate so wesley didn't go for any queen e1 this this attack is just you know one tempo too slow and he just wait for his chance queen on d6 and now queen on d3 with the idea of um, attacking the the king this way we have queen on e5 and now uh, if white tries something like d6 uh, and king e8 let's say queen g6 king d7 uh, knight f5 it looks pretty good you know defending the, the the pawn however now queen e1 king h2 queen f2 and there are already some mating ideas here so uh white would have to play something like king on h1 uh something like that maybe knight on h4 to you know uh to just try to draw so it's not so easy you know to 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 continue that so we have queen on g6 uh, and now king on e7, knight on f5, very similar idea, king on d8, and now king h2 first. So moving the king to the safety, not giving, you know, any tempo on uh, with the check on, uh, on e1. Uh, we have knight on e4 now by black, and now queen g8 with check. King on d7, queen on f7, king on d8 knight on g7 so something is going on it looks like it's a you know some strong attack some mating ideas maybe but not really now we have h4 h4 and now g3 is attacked three times okay so here is the first problem uh, of the position we have knight on e6 uh, king on c8 and for now the queen controls c7 so uh if queen on e8 actually it doesn't really work because after king on b7 queen on c6 and now of course not king on a6 because after knight on c7 you're gonna get checkmated so uh, not this way you would have to give the queen uh, and, and play without the queen uh, but rather king on b8 and there is no attack for white for example queen on e8 king on b7 okay you can play knight on d7 try some tricks but the but the queen is defended okay queen is defended by the pawn so no problem here king c8 and now knight e6 you have to go back king b7 and there is nothing here so uh Fabiano Caruana tried to get this pawn, but there is one huge problem with that. Uh, because after queen on g8, this is what he played, king on b7, and here actually uh, Fabiano Caruana should just accept the draw. And this, he can, you know, do some perpetual checks and, uh, and, 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 and then just draw. However, he wants to win, and at first he wants to eliminate this threat. So uh, he played queen on h7 with the attack on the king and this pawn. The problem is, after king on a6, he cannot take this pawn. Because after he takes the pawn and he 
he did that in the game. Uh, Wesley saw two minutes uh, on the clock and Fabiano Caruana just seconds on the clock. He plays on his incrementation plan and Fabiano Caruana missed knight on f2 and now checkmate is coming. And you cannot stop that checkmate. This is another checkmate. Uh, so, so he couldn't defend. He just missed that. Uh, he tries queen on h8. We have queen on e1. Now mate is coming. And now knight c5. Okay, setting up the trap. So queen on h8 uh, and knight on c5. Very, very nice trap. Uh, the problem is Wesley so uh, cannot take the knight. Because if he takes the knight then queen on c8 with check and if you move for example king on b6 you're gonna get uh, checkmated here uh, and if you play king on a5 there is a perpetual check so last chance where fabiano caruana understood okay that that is my last chance so after queen on c5 king a4 uh, queen on c4 uh, there is not much can be done here okay let's say this way now queen c2 queen a3 uh, queen c5 again and if black tries for example to stop that then white just exchange the queens and this pawn gonna advance and win the game here is the problem okay so a knight on c5 very very nice trap but of course wesley so didn't fall uh, into that trap he played king on a5 uh, and in this position, Fabiano Caruana resign the game. And he resigned because checkmate is coming. All he can do is one check. And after king on a4, uh, just throw the queen. And, uh, and yeah, that, that's all. So Wesley won this clutch game. And here are the, the standings. So as you see, Magnus Carlsen, uh, first games won. Then we had the two draws and in decisive clutch game, he just crashed uh, Levon Aronian and uh, ended in the second game we had the draw. So current score 6-2 to two. Uh, and today they're going to play uh, another part of the semi-finals and Levon Aronian is a very, very difficult situation. And Fabiano Caruana against Wesley So exactly the same. So first two wins by Wesley So then we had two draws and this was the clutch game uh, with the Evans Gambit at the end. Two six again the same score so yeah that's that's the situation so uh we had a more interesting games in this but this tournament goes really really fast uh, and we're gonna have another games so if you want to see another games uh just you know press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one